Yo, Mr. Owl, how many cuts does it take to get the head of a Quan Ron commander? Let's find out. One, two, three. Don't lose your head. Don't lose your head. It's about time. It's about time. This is probably Yotunwa's first notable kill. Because I can't really think of any others. If there has been another kill where she's killed someone of great importance, it's been a long time since we've seen it. But Yotunwa has successfully killed Goba. And a lot of people thought that Bajio was going to take that role. I even thought that. I thought it was going to be Yotunwa or Baggio, but it was Yotunwa. And I mean, Shin had the one shot and it was so disrespectful because he sent Gakue's head flying. But Yotunwa, she, she just like surgical. She turned into a surgeon. She just said, one cut, two, three, done. And mind you, she had pressure on every side of her, on her rear, wings, and in her front. Now, I thought, as soon as I seen um, the Kosan Ryu armies closing in on her, because at first it was just a sandwich, then it became a whole wall forming around Yotawa. As soon as I seen the Kosan Ryu armies there as well, I said, Yotawa is going straight for Goba. I was like, there's no way she's just going to try to retreat and just... No, she's going straight for them because she had the advantage since the Baggio army was still behind Goba. So, exactly, she just pierced right through Goba and as long as her army is fast enough, then this plan was going to work. And now, Goba is dead. So, they got two out of three of the guys that they were supposed to get today. But, we all know... Who didn't hold up his end of the bargain. But we're not going to talk about that. Because it's Yotunwa's day. And we should just celebrate the Lord of Death today. And hecky fans. Hecky fans. No way does hecky deserve Yotunwa. No. No, 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 no. No. After this. After seeing this. No, 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 no. No way. Alright. If that happens. Horror. If you make that happen. If Hecky gets your to it, bro, like I'm all for having the underdog achieve something great, but Hecky just, he's not in the same league as Yotua. No, don't make that happen. Now, after Yotua dismantles Goba, we learn that Shonsui Ju and Rozo are still in pursuit of Yotua even through the night. So I hope. That we just don't like skip that. I want to see this night chase. Um, because we really haven't seen anything like that. The last time we really seen a night attack was uh with the with uh Reboko. That's like the last time we've seen a night attack, but it's gonna be a chase. So that's gonna be interesting if Hara decides to actually um show those manga panels, but Honestly, I don't think he will, but hopefully he does. Also, shout out to the Quan Ron soldiers because I never thought I would see niggas actually barking in this series. But thanks to these dudes, we see it happen. Overall, I just gotta say this was a great chapter. It's always good to see Yotua do some epic shit. And this is like the first time I ever seen Shosui Ju have one of those surprise faces he was literally looking like oh shit uh i didn't know she could do that so he miscalculated on the part of yotua's strength but now it's all about retreating because they got what they wanted and um i was actually surprised to see that yotua quickly realized that i can't take out king rozo right now and i said that i called that now i said that they probably wouldn't fight today all right but we could have this whole night battle where they do fight. But I just don't see it. 
I just don't see it. I don't think King Rozo and Yotunwa are going to fight on this day. They're going to save it for a later date, I believe. But again, this was a great chapter. Yotunwa deserves all the praise. Guys, that is it for this review. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Sasuke the Savage, out.